Madrid. Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm in Brazil and today with my students we're gonna work on this big Ficus microcarpa. End of uh, winter here in uh, Brazil is a very good period uh, to defoliate uh, and uh, rewire on uh, ficus, especially this one uh, has a beautiful power, powerful trunk, uh, already a good uh, structure. So what we're gonna do will be a little pruning uh, on some branches that are uh, uh, bad uh, for uh, the type of growth, uh, they grow downwards. Uh, you want to have uh, a foliage uh, going up uh, and creating a beautiful and natural canopy. We're going to also remove uh, some of the air roots uh, that are growing in the trunks and also removing the moss uh, from the trunk uh, that uh, already was put uh, to help uh, trunk uh, to grow and some more roots uh, to fill uh, the gaps uh, between uh, the roots. We can now remove uh, the moss uh, and also the net uh, that uh, originally was added to the trunk uh, to develop uh, more roots uh, and uh, close uh, the gaps uh, that eventually appear after the original selection pruning for the structure. Ficus uh, is uh, the result uh, of uh, the fusion of a seven tree done uh, about 15 years ago by my client uh, Francisco Correa and uh, the trees really grew together very well but uh, some part uh, didn't fuse uh, properly so we want to remove uh, the original uh, moss uh, remove also some callus uh, from uh, the trees uh, and uh, be able uh, to flash uh, those uh, cuts uh, in the proper way so it's very important uh, to fix uh, the attention uh, to the operation we want to do and uh, remove uh, the part uh, that are not uh, allowing us to have a very good and proper trunk. For example, this callus with one root was not necessary, so we prefer to get rid of it completely and then over the top put the cutting paste so the tree can flash out properly. It's always very important to have the best and cleaner cut possible so the tree can uh, regrow properly. Ficus uh, is uh, very very generous uh, in terms of regrowing especially when we have uh, an old uh, cut uh, like this one we can reopen uh, the sides of the cut uh, in this case uh, using a knife uh, and then what we do we refill uh, the hole uh, with cut paste uh, and these uh, with the hormone that are inside of the cut paste uh, will help a lot uh, the tree to flash uh, completely that part uh, and uh, in few years uh, the trunk will be perfect. It's very important to dedicate time to this uh, type of operation because uh, in the long run uh, that we have uh, to effort with bonsai we're gonna have uh, the best uh, result uh, possible. So on the cutting part uh, I put uh, cut paste first uh, and then because uh, some areas are very big uh, we make a mix uh, with uh, moss, uh, akadama dust uh, and uh, some uh, um, clay. We fill uh, the part uh, with this uh, mix uh, 
and then on top uh, we put cut paste. Doing that, uh, we can have uh, a nice uh, rehealing because the tree will always feel uh, the moisture from uh, the mix uh, we put inside of the trunk and naturally will tend to grow and uh, kind of eat the part that uh, we put uh, on the tree. This is a technique that I see used a lot uh, in Asia and it works uh, very, very well because uh, it doesn't allow the, the moss uh, we put on the tree to dry out. So the tree can either create a lot of roots that they eventually fuse together and also uh, reheal properly. Now that uh, we clean the trunk uh, and we add the uh, cut paste uh, on the old cuts uh, to get them uh, to flash the rehealing, we can start uh, wiring the branches uh, from uh, secondary structure to the fine branches. So using the wire and uh, guy wire, we can uh, put uh, together and refine all the ramification. Also some pruning uh, of the branches uh, was done, especially in the right part uh, of the tree. So we can compress uh, a little bit the structure and get uh, a more compact uh, ramification and a more refined and compact design for the end of the work. the cut paste with a mix of glue and akadama so while it will be dry it will mimic a little bit the color of the trunk of the ficus
now that all the ramification is uh, wired, I can uh, start from the lower left branch and set uh, the structure. I don't like to use uh, thick wire, especially on a work like this, uh, where I can, uh, just using some little guy wire, move uh, in the position the branches I need. As you can see, all the branches are growing up uh, in the same direction. I need to create a little bit of uh, space uh, to create a better volume for the first pad of the tree. So using some guy wire, I move down some of the lower branches, but always thinking that I want to create this nice waving movement for the branches to look like a deciduous tree. Actually, in this case, a tropical tree that I tend to work as I work a deciduous tree in Europe. So I move down the branches for the second section and then move the end up again so I can build the base of what I like to call not a pad but a nice cloud of green. So starting from this operation I move up and I try to create a natural look for the foliage of this beautiful tree. This is something we always have to remember when we work on tropical or the seeds tree because the natural look for these trees is very, very, very important. Wiring, uh, as always, uh, is very, very important uh, to really define uh, the lines uh, on the ramification of our trees. Uh, Overwiring uh, is no good, uh, and uh, in this case, uh, we just put the right amount of wire to be able to style properly and refine uh, this tree. If you want to know more about wiring, uh, on the link uh, on the upper part uh, now, you can see a video about uh, wiring. Uh, from my YouTube channel and uh, if you want more information and uh, you want uh, to have more education about wiring you can also purchase uh, my bonsai book uh, bonsai dream by sending me an email thank you
And here we are at the end of the work. I think the ficus came up uh, very, very nice, very natural, with good movement of all the branches. Uh, all the lines are going out, uh, mimicking how it happened in nature, following out the light uh, and uh, holding uh, naturally the weight uh, of uh, the last part uh, of the foliage. So uh, I want to thank all my assistants uh, that they did uh, a great job today helping me defoliating, wiring and also styling the tree. Now we put uh, uh, the concrete uh, with the muck uh, to you know, help the tree to f uh, flash uh, all the parts that need uh, to grow and uh, we can wait next season and keep working on this beautiful tree.